Here we know that the uh, Booster Club raised $30,000 for a sports fund. So this is usually with these kind of problems going to be your start or initial value. It's something really important to point out. I would write it down. No more money will be placed into the fund, okay? But each year the fund will decrease by 5%. So that's a decay, right? We're losing money each year probably because they're spending it to um, help right, run these sports that they're looking at. So the decay f um, is what? Well, each year we start with 100%, but we lose 5%, 0 0.05, so that's 0.95. The idea being that when you lose 5% of something, what remains is 95%. So your decay factor is 95%. Turn the amount of money to your cent that will be left in the sport fund after four years. So you take 30,000, or your start value, times your decay factor to the, the power of years that have passed. In general, A times B to the T, right? where A is your start, that number here, B is your growth, or decay factor, decay factor, and T is the time period required, whatever it is, for growth, or decay. And you can do this manually by taking 30,000, right? You lose 5%, so at first you do that value times 0.95%, gives you a number. But then the next year, you're going to multiply that value, whatever it is, by 0.95%, 0.95. And then you're going to repeat this process the third year, and again, the fourth year. So every time, you have 95% of what you had before. So that would be annoying to do, so we can do this pretty quickly by doing 30,000, right, times 0.95 to the fourth power, right? So after, after four years, we'll have 24,435. To the nearest cent, it would be nine, in 19 cents, or 0.19, you round up. So we have, we would have, right, oops. If we're writing this in dollars, we could write it as um, 14,000. Sorry, I forgot what that was. Oh, so not 14, 24,435. So 24,000. 435, oops, and 19 cents, I believe that was. Yep, so that's the, the basic approach, is that you take your starting value and just multiply it by that factor over and over again. Here in the next one, uh, the price of a car is starting at 20,000. The start is very critical. So your starting value is 20,000, oops. And then each year you're losing uh, value, you're, you have a decay factor. So the decay factor, a quick way to, to find it is just take 1 minus the decimal representation of what the percentage is. So if you're losing 12%, you subtract 0.112. That means you get 0.88. Why are you doing this? Well, the idea is that each, you know, each year that you lose 12%, what you have or what remains is 88% of the previous amount. So that's why you take 1 or 100% minus what you lost. Minus 12% is your percent change, but the factor itself, the decay factor, is 0.88 because you have 88% of what you had before. So what's nice about this is you could do 20,000, right, times 0.88 for one year, and then times that by 0.88 again, and then times that by 0.88 a third time for three years. Or you can compound this quickly by doing 20,000 times 0.88 to the third power. And this is generally how these exponential functions work, where the first number is your starting value, this is your decay factor, and this exponent is always the time required for growth. So we can set that up as 20,000, right, times 0.88 to the third power. And that's 13,629.44, or choice two. Next we have the value of a car. Um, I seem to have the same problem here twice. Okay, well, I hope that helps.